the next problem we're going to solve is I've got these really cool pictures here uh, for my new app. And I want to host them somewhere. Uh, and I want my application to grab those images from an HTTPS capable source. Um, and I want it to, um, what I want it to do is, is always be there because I don't want when my, uh, my application or my website needs to do a, uh, a call to its origin. I don't want it to happen on my server because my application is doing enough providing the, the I should say the server's doing enough providing the application to you. If your app on top of uh, doing whatever processing of information or serving whatever it is your app may do, uh, on top of that, if you want people going to your app as well and pulling images directly from the, the origin server, it's not really going to help uh, performance. And so I like to think of this example as a really great one. What's really cool is what we can make uh, use of is uh, blob storage in kind of the same way that we just did. So we're not even going to deploy it um, in the way we did before. Uh, what we're going to deploy it, uh, the code is we're basically going to drag and drop. So the point right here is to show you that th these fundamentals associated with Azure give you really, really just basic tools to uh, to do simple or complex problems let's offset some of that storage requirement and let's take these pictures so what have i got here so my new web application uh, it it's very important that this is part of it this picture of rico it absolutely must be part of the application it needs to be always in the app 24 7 it can't ever go down so that's something that we can do easily by storing this picture, sweet baby Rico, um, inside of our uh, blob storage container. So uh, we've already created a blob storage container, but I'm going to make a new one for you. I'm going to start from scratch. So within my resource group, we're going to go back to this, the Rico info one. Um, and, but what we're going to do here is we are going to click add. So we'll be able to go in here, and this is the marketplace. Uh, this is where you can basically find almost anything Azure related that you want. Oh, it's everything Azure like, uh, uh Anything you want to build with Azure, almost anything. If you want to build a WordPress site like I'm talking about, you can. Uh, if you need a MySQL, if you need an SQL server, uh, if you want a web app uh, for simple web hosting, if you need a Kubernetes cluster, we've got all that stuff here. Uh, but today, what we're going to do is storage account. So oh, you'll see here storage account, blob, file, table, queue. Those are our different types of storage that we can build with it. Uh, so Microsoft Azure provides scalable, durable cloud storage, backup, and recovery solutions for any big or small, uh, any data big or small. It works with the infrastructure you already have to have cost effectively enhance your existing applications and business continuity strategy and provide storage uh, required with, you get me. Uh, you can read the rest of that if you like. Uh, all you have to do is bring that up. Um, pricing, take a look at it real quick because I don't know how much most of this stuff costs. I, I like to just teach you about it. Uh, that's really, really, really cheap. Rico, we're going to host you for next to nothing. Okay, so um, the block blobs, very inexpensive if you're doing it with a three-year reserve capacity. Uh, I'm not going to be using three years. But if I wanted to, I can go here. I could do some pricing on uh, the kind of storage I need. Um, we can see here, first terabyte of hot storage, premium storage. Cool. I mean, there, there's different levels. So premium um, gives us uh, access to block blobs and append blobs, low latency. Uh, hot uh, means you're going to use it all the time. Uh, cool means you don't really need it that often, but you may access it once in a while. Archive, think of it like backups. Think of it like more than backups. Think about it literally as cold storage, kind of what archive storage is. You can get it, uh, but it's going to cost you more. And you can see it's a little bit, uh, uh, what you actually end up paying a little bit more for is the restore. The actual saving everything is super inexpensive because uh, you can see it's way cheaper than the actual uh, uh, 
premium and, and that that's on purpose. Uh, so we've got reserve capacity, but like I said, we're going to focus on a blob. So what we're going to do, we'll go back to our storage account here and we're going to click create. So we need to have a storage account name. Uh, this is going to be just a logical name for where things are going to be kept. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to call it uh, Rico app. Uh, we can pick where we want our app uh, data to be stored, um, or where our, our storage account will live. And so I'm going to pick East US because I'm New York City all day, baby. Uh, our performance is the different types of storage we want to use. And so in this case, I'm just going to use standard. They're also premium. We saw the pricing we talked about. The account kind. Um, so let's look. What kind of storage do we want to create? Well, I want to create a blob. So blob storage. And the replication, read access, geo redundant. Uh, so we're going to just choose it. And I'm going to pick locally redundant LRS storage. Uh, if you want to figure out more about locally redundant LRS storage, go to this documentation here. Okay. So we'll go to networking. And we're going to leave this access tier just to make sure as hot. Hot means we're getting the data. We're using this storage. Uh, so we don't want to have it in cool. Uh, that'll be a different tier. Um, so you can see. Uh, so we want to make sure that the, see, uh, the cool access tier is not ideal for infrequently accessed data. Uh, is ideal. I should say is ideal for infrequently. Uh, so you want to use hot for frequently accessed and cool for infrequently. So it'd be uh, also smart to throw a cache, like a CDN on top of stuff like this. We'll talk about that after. Networking. So we can choose where uh, the image is available to. Uh, right now, we're going to leave it to public uh, so that we can make it HTTP capable. The world can get it just by a, a, um, a web call. Uh, so next, we'll go to advanced. It gives us uh, whether or not everything has to be HTTPS. In this case, we'll say yes. Soft blob delete, when it's just turned on, enables you to save and recover your blob data. Um, we've got a, a, a share, versioning. Versioning may be useful for some of you. Uh, I always felt the same, the best versioning was incrementing my, my file names. That's just me. You do what you want. Uh, we've got hierarchical namespace. Uh, we can look at that, even NFS3. Uh, we're, we're not gonna be using that either. So we'll click review and create. And uh, once we do that, we'll be able to uh, then create our, uh, our blob storage space. So let's go. We'll submit deployment, create our storage space. We'll see our deployment being completed. I love this about Azure. So I'm an ops person, and, and, and I like to know what's going on. I'm just, I'm a control freak. What can I tell you? Uh, so um, the thing that's going on right here, is uh, I love being able to see what's going on in the background when you're deploying something. It is one of my favorite things about Azure is that we actually show you uh, the operation details of what's going on and we tell you when it's done. So we'll go to our resource. We've got our storage account. And now we can go here to containers. We're gonna create a container. We'll change it to uh, anonymous read access for containers and blob. And we're just gonna name it, repo pick. Okay, create. Now this is creating a container for us within this Rico app thing to store. So it's like a directory. So now when I click on Rico pick, let me show you. Now we can actually upload images. So, Let's upload this picture, this adorable little picture of Rico, okay? So we'll select right here. I'll drop this right here. Ooh. There's the select the picture of Rico. Open. So, so there's advanced. We can uh, use our authentication account if we want to. We can even uh, change the, uh, the tier the block size, or even a specific folder, but we'll click upload. So it's uploaded my file right here. And like our static website that we went to before, 
we can see when we click on the actual, we've got our URL here, our version information, everything we need. Um, we're not gonna click edit, but what we can do is click here to copy to clipboard. And there's our picture, it's online, it's on the web. I can now refer to this image in my, uh, my application if I want to.